Begin with the search for two suspects who police say shot a St. Joseph's University student during an attempted carjacking. That student, fortunately, is expected to survive. I'm Don Timoney. I'm Jason Martinez. Busy afternoon here on this Wednesday. It happened just blocks from campus. Our Joanne Pileggi has the latest details. Well, we're less than a half mile from City Ave and from St. Joe's University. This residential tree-lined street with houses and apartments. And this is where police say the attempted carjacking happened. And yes, it could have been so much worse. I heard a shot, then I heard somebody scream, they shot me. And and uh, stuff like that. The harsh sounds of sirens from police and first responders and the flashing lights interrupted the normal here on Upland Way. I was calling um, 911. I was coming down. I went over and I seen the guy laying on the ground and I tried to do what I can. Police say a 21 year old student from nearby St. Joe's University was the victim of an armed assault and an attempted carjacking right in front of his house. They approach the victim. They try to get his car from him, the car keys. Uh, he fights them and tries to fight them off. As he's fighting them off, he's struck in the head with a handgun, which causes injuries to his head. Then the two assailants who were wearing ski masks took it a step further. They then fired two shots at him, one striking him in his knee. Uh, police arrive on scene. They take him over to Lankanaw Hospital, where he's currently in stable condition. Cops say the perps took off in a black Dodge caravan, and they got away with the student's keys. Unnerving, unsettling for all in the neighborhood. We keep an eye on each other's cars and things like that. But really, there's not much you can do when it's random. Well, I'm a Vietnam vet, and I'm realizing that you don't have to go to war to see war. And these guns have to go. The victim's roommates were home at the time, and they told me off camera they heard the shots and came running outside. They are, of course, really shocked about this violence. They say it's fortunate that their friend is going to be okay. It is, in an odd twist, the student's 21st birthday today. In Overbrook, I'm Joanne Pileggi, Fox 29 News.